Top 5 Branding Lessons Coming from Steve Jobs When it comes to branding, then Apple is the perfect example to emphasize its importance in any business strategy. As one said, the now late jobs, the chance to create memory is the essence of brand marketing. That alone is probably the best definition for brand marketing. Another way to define branding is through the emotion that a customer feels whenever thinking about certain services or product. The thing with customers is that they don't buy services or products, they buy something else, they buy reputation and perceptions, they prefer certainty and trust before anything else. That is what branding is all about, nothing more, nothing less however, as many things in life it's much easier to talk about it than actually doing it. Nowadays, there are hundreds of so-called marketing gurus that like to preach about it, how to get there, what makes a great brand and stuff like that. However, only few can say that have done that and have achieved something in that particular marketing area. When it comes to power branding lessons, the one with the biggest authority to speak on that subject is the late Steve Jobs. Considering that he is no longer among us here we will talk about his heritage and the lessons we have all learned on branding. Branding is not for everyone yes, that's lesson number one, branding is not for everyone or every product if you want to put it that way. First, you need a great product, which is likable, has a great design and works perfectly. If you don't have a good product or good services, don't bother building a brand around it. It will have the opposite effect. Perfectly understandable, considering that this comes from the perfectionist who introduced the iPod, the iPhone and the iPad to the world. Great brand creates trends as once Don Draper, Mad Men TV show character, said, if you don't like the conversation change the subject. That is what great brands do, they change the subject so it suits them better while everyone else listens. As a result new trends come out, trends in which some particular brand is in the middle of it. For an example, the iPod, that one little gadget, not only that it created a trend but it laid the foundation of a new industry, create your market it is hard to position a brand in an overcrowded market and it's pretty much an uphill battle. When Steve Jobs returned to Apple, the company was stagnating in almost every area. Jobs instantly knew that the best course of action is to look for new markets. So, he first created new products which opened new doors for the company, meaning new markets. The rest is history speak directly to your clients This is probably the trickiest parts, to be able to communicate with the clients in a non-invasive, yet persuasive way. Steve Jobs was superb in that role, often balancing on the edge of invasive and non-invasive, you can't do it on your own Jobs knew that, as well as many other CEOs that run some of the most successful brands. No resources should be spared in building a brand. It is important to circle the brand with people who have the expertise and more importantly have walked that road.